How are you? This is Michael Williams again, of course. <laughs> and I just wanted to take a, a moment to, to share another introductory video with you about the Start Speaking Training Center. And we have a couple of programs now, one that I'm just releasing module by module or session by session. And that's called the Power Coach Approach. And we'll talk about that in some other sessions. The original program is called the Stop Stuttering, Start Speaking program, where I use the DAM, D-A-M, strategy. So when you visit our, our site, you'll be able to access that. But I, I wanted to, to share a little story with you, a couple of little stories, about a guy named Demosthenes. So look that up, Demosthenes. And he was known, ultimately and finally, as one of the greatest orators or speakers of his time, but way back around 300 and something BC. But the funny thing about Demosthenes is that he developed a stutter, a pretty severe stutter. He lost his father and eventually, uh, and his father was pretty well off, and eventually because the people that they left his family uh, with to take care of their estate squandered the money and so he really lost everything. He started to stutter at a very young age and continued to stutter and he you know, would go to court and try to fight to get some of this money back that these guys had stolen from his family and he could barely speak in court. And he, he kind of started to get into politics and he was very passionate, very excited about politics. But he found that, in fact, one time he said that, that people would pay more attention to a sailor, who I guess back then they cursed and stuff. He said, people pay more attention to sailors than they do me. You know, because he, gets, he stammered and he just couldn't, it was embarrassing for him. He couldn't get his words out. So he came across a guy named Satyrus, who really became like his coach. And Satyrus was in the, the acting field, if you will. So Satyrus, uh, took Demosthenes and he started to coach him and he started to tell him, listen, here's, here's what I want you to do. I want you to practice uh, going over these speeches. Just, and I want you to do it using different voices and different intonations and different emotions. I want you to practice this while you're running up hills and down hills. And I want you to put rocks or pebbles in your mouth and practice your vocalizations over the sea. And I don't advise you to put pebbles in your mouth, you might choke. Don't say, Michael Williams told me to put pebbles in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do that. Uh, but what he did is, so he started to do all these different vocal exercises going over uh, these presentations over and over and over again and picking them apart until he had them perfectly memorized, until his voice was very strong. And Satyrus also told him to mimic, that is, look at someone else and mimic them. Uh, if you look at someone and find someone that you like the way they speak and start practicing speaking or presenting the same way that they do. So what they had stumbled upon is really a system for helping people become excellent speakers. And I hadn't heard of this until just recently, but the system that I use was really the same one. And it was uh, very enlightening and eye-opening to find that this had been discovered you know, thousands of years ago. The thing with Demosthenes is that he probably, it seems, never really overcame stuttering when it comes to uh, impromptu speaking, right? He needed to rehearse everything, but they said that he became one of the best speakers of his time, maybe of all times. So maybe he didn't stop stuttering completely, but one of the things he was able to do was to go from stuttering in public and making public presentations to becoming one of the greatest speakers. In this program, in this system, I've designed and developed a way for you to become not only a great speaker in public, but also in private, to become an excellent communicator and con conversator, if you will. So I'd like for you to just to take a look at this program Give it a chance. You have to jump in with both feet. You can't like step in and go, okay, let me just let me see if this works. Let me try it out a couple of times. It doesn't work like that. You really have to believe in what you're doing because that's the foundation of the entire program is believing that this thing is working because it will work. So I, I wanted to share that story. Another story that I'll share with you is one about James Earl Jones, who many of you have heard of. 
And what we discover is that at a very young age, he started to stutter. And he came across a teacher who James had written a, a, a poem. And the teacher said, this, this thing is awesome. In fact, it's so awesome, I don't believe you wrote it. In fact, if you really did write it, I'm going to require you to actually stand up in front of class and recite it. So because James Earl had written it, he stood up in class and he recited it and it was wonderful. And his teacher said, you know what, you've got a gift and I want you to continue to write poetry and to get in the drama club and the debating team. And I want you to continue to work that voice so that you can overcome this stutter. And so James Earl did that and now he's probably one of the greatest voices around. And he says that sometimes he still stutters on certain consonants or certain words. So what does he do? Well, he tries to avoid them, right? And that's one of the techniques in some therapists say, well, that's avoidance. Yes, it is avoidance. Sometimes it's, that's what you need to do while you develop your speaking success. As you start to develop yourself, sometimes you have to avoid certain words. You have to control your speaking situations, which we talk about in the program. Okay, so we don't say avoid forever. What we say is avoid while you're building, while you're strengthening, while you're developing your successful speaking situations. And what happens is that reinforces itself so that you don't need to avoid anymore because you've already started now to believe and accept that you're an excellent speaker. So you don't have to avoid because you don't even think about stuttering. You don't think of yourself as a stutterer. That's what this program does. So I want to encourage you to take a look at it. It's at presentwithpower.net, or you can get to it, presentwithpower.net forward slash WordPress. So take a look at it. I'll see you in another video.